Can I help you? Patrick? Hello, Mother. you don't get thrown light as a feather uh, and you constantly saying all the right things something matter i hope you understand that it's not a good idea for you to be staying here while conrad returns here oh hey i mean you don't have to put me up and you didn't have to stay with me these past six months i'm so grateful that you did yeah. you know i would have been happy to have you join me in the city i wasn't trying to hide you i just wanted to keep you all to myself surprised of our situation and as difficult as it may be for any of you to believe there's some people driven by motivations other than financial gain you know perhaps patrick can float us alone from what's left of the five million i mean that is how you sustain in life uh, thank you uh, freelancing i imagine what are you talking about mm. when patrick here was of age he came in search for his mother and our general factotum frank paid him that tidy sum to disappear Guy's name was Frank? Hmm. Well, Frank showed up, but he only threatened to hurt me. I never saw a cent of that money. And no offense, Mr. Grayson, but my only fear coming into tonight was that you try to sick him on me again. <laughs> and I have two happy pieces of news to share. First off, poor Frank is deceased, and I wasn't the one who sent him. That'd be your dear old mom. You did that? It's true. When you came looking for me, I suddenly became that scared teenage girl again. And I made the same mistake. And I've only just begun to make up for what I've been missing. And I swear to you that I will go to my grave to try to atone for those sins. Patrick has done nothing wrong. And for you to treat him like this is not only unwarranted, it is unacceptable. He is good. And he is genuine. And I will be damned if I sit here and let you drag him down to your level. He is my son, and that makes him family. Conrad had men waiting for me in front of the gallery and by my car. I slipped out the back. Thank God. Yeah, I, I don't understand this. I thought you said he wouldn't find out. There isn't time for an explanation, all right? You must go now. Oh, go where? To the Philadelphia airport. What? This is your bag. Inside of your tickets, some cash, and contact information for someone who owes me a favor. No. Please, Patrick. Conrad is a ruthless man. You are not safe. He's a ruthless man. I'm not leaving you here alone with him. I will take care of him. It's too soon. I, I have questions. I'm just getting to know you. I will bring you back. When the time is right, I swear, and I will give you the answers. All of them. Please. Take it. I... Go. I can't. Go! Obey your mother. While you were sly to exile him to the nearest island, did you not think I'd come to know he was in Manhattan? You stay away from my son. I was hoping to use dear Patrick as incentive to change your mind about attending Daniel's wedding. I'm going to quash my understandable resistance to embrace one son of yours if you're willing to muster the love to support the other. If you think I'm going to be blackmailed by your collusion with you're that- right, Mom. You worked so hard to repair our relationship. I wanted to do the same for Daniel. And that's why I came when Conrad reached out. 
When Conrad reaches out, be aware of what's in his hand. I approached with open palm, Victoria, hoping to leave our grievances in the past. If anything should happen to Patrick, understand this, Conrad. They will be wiping what's left of you up with a sponge. Say yes, Mom. For the family. Your family. Do what makes you happy. I know what you're doing. Someone hurts you and you run. That's your M.O., right? I'm not gonna let you push me away. No, I told you before, we're a team. So I'm staying right here. And together we're gonna take down everyone who ever wronged you. Conrad, Emily, and Nolan. He keeps this uh, box locked up behind the painting that he took from you. And, uh, it's got this design etched on the side of the two infinity symbols that are linked together. I can only imagine how much this must have cost you. Not sure that you can, actually. This was never about Nolan or your family. I didn't come here to be Daniel's brother. I didn't come here to be accepted by Conrad. I came here to get to know my mother. <laughs> but you and I sort of skipped over all the hard parts so that we could pretend like everything was all right. Yeah. It's not. I've already looked inside. I think you'll be pleased. All you ever wanted was the truth, right? And that is all I'm asking in return from you is the truth about my past. I can't wait around for it much longer. Is that him? Why have you never asked me about my adoptive family? The only way I could survive letting you go was to imagine you happy. Well, here's the reality. Ed and Barbara Osborne were my parents. I don't really uh, remember much about her. She died when I was four. And after that, Dad married Anne. Anne didn't give a damn about me, so neither did he. I feel that kind of rejection from your your father makes you feel like, um, it made me feel like there was something wrong with me. <gasps> something, uh, it's bad, unlovable. I still do. It could have been different. You shouldn't have followed me here. Well, after I saw you steal away from the house, you left me no choice. All right, before you make contact with that man, there are things I have to tell you about him. I don't really want to hear it. There have been too many times since we reconnected that you've punted this conversation. I want to meet my father on my terms, not through your impressions of him. So please, just go. like a big brother, a few years older than I. And he always watched over me. So when a fuse blew one day in my apartment, I didn't think twice about following him down to the basement. He kisses me, and I say, no, we're just friends. And I try to pull away. And he has this look on his face like a monster. He punches me, and I raise my arms to cover my face to mask my shame and my confusion because I had worked so hard. I did everything to change myself, and I... I 
knew he could still see the victim. And he pushes my face into the cold concrete and he whispers, relax, honey, over and over and over. All I could do was focus on the pilot light underneath the water heater and wait for him to be done. And the day you were delivered, they put you in my arms and you heard my voice and you looked straight in my eyes. And I felt this calm. There was nothing of Jimmy and you. You were from me and no one else. He started stalking me, so we, uh, we ran from apartment to apartment until there was nowhere else to go. And then this miracle happened. A scholarship to Paris. Painful as it was, I knew it was the only way I could protect us both. When I took you to sister, Rebecca, I told her that Jimmy might come for you. And she vowed to keep you away from him at any cost. The truth. I didn't know what to do with it. Withholding it for you caused such anguish, but how could revealing it not cause you more? Do not let these circumstances define you the way I let them define me. It was before you told me what happened. Before you told me that you were forced to sacrifice me, move across the ocean, stay away from that guy. And I spent my life building a world to escape what he did. And now he is in our space. I should never have told you what happened. Why? So I wouldn't find out what a monster he was? Or that I'm a child of rape? I'm gonna kill him. Patrick, please don't do anything. If I lost you because of that man, you are the one good thing that came out of the worst time of my life. It's why I hold you so dear. Now I want you to fire that man, now. You got the power cut? I, uh, there you go, you're all safe. So you accidentally lit the blaze, huh? Yeah, thanks for reminding me. Yeah, don't beat yourself up. Life's a bitch if you live with regret. Yeah, well, you seem like the kind of guy who can just move past stuff. Are you kidding? It's a ton of crap I wish I'd done differently. Like what? Oh, being a better husband, being a better father to the boy I see two days a month. You, uh, just got the one? Yeah. Well, no, actually. I'm gonna talk regret. Back in the day when I lived in the Bronx, I found out I had another one. Found out, huh? Must have been living a single life. Hardly. Wanted to be with his mother. She basically hid the pregnancy from me. She about killed me when I saw her pushing that stroller down Lexington. Billy. Really? Hey, how would you feel if you suddenly realized that there's this part of you out there somewhere that you never got to know? The damn shame. Yeah, yeah, no, it, it, it is. No. It is me who's suffering, Patrick, not him like you want it. Like you want it? <laughs> Look, Jimmy, we, we should talk. It's a little too late for that. I can't believe I didn't figure it out sooner. <laughs> Vicki Harper. Been a long time. And you must be the kid that she stole from me. Like the happy family reunion, huh? Hey, kid, your dear mom ever mentioned to you how she used me back then? She took advantage of my help to get what she needed out of life. And how did she thank me by giving you away? I was 15 years old, and I was looking for someone to trust, and you preyed on that. You raped me. You knocked on my door that night. We had a drink. We hung out. You said you were feeling adventurous, that you wanted me oh. down in that basement. Oh, you bastard! Don't you dare walk away from me. Get your hands off her! <laughs> into the cold concrete and he whispers, relax, honey. Relax, honey.
Police called with an update. The coroner said that Jimmy died from massive blood loss following a fall from his ladder. They ruled it an accident. We are not guilty of anything, Patrick. What you did, you did to protect me. Yeah. But still, standing there tonight watching my father die. What is wrong with us? We're victims of our world. Of men like Jimmy Brennan, but this dark chapter in our lives is finally over and we can move on. I don't know if I can. Today's you, Jimmy. Take it too soon. We know you're throwing back with St. Peter now. Cheers. Cheers. Guy had you all fooled. You got something to say, pal? Jimmy Brennan was a rapist. He deserves to be exactly where he is right now, riding in a box. Patrick, you're not. Why would you go to Jimmy's wake? Expose him for the bastard that he was. And allow yourself to be beaten bloody by a bunch of thugs? You're going to get yourself killed. No, well, maybe I should. You don't honestly believe that. I don't know what I believe anymore. Believe that I love you. That Jimmy got what he deserved and that we need to move on. Don't let your rage consume you. Well, it might be too late. Um, this is really hard for me to say. But, uh, you know that when you hurt, I hurt too. And the problem is, when someone hurts you, I become someone I barely recognize. Someone who will strike out to protect the one person I value most. And I know now where that darkness comes from. It comes from my father. And I feel like if I stay here, others will suffer, too. I've been given an opportunity, um, one that I feel like will make you proud of me. But it means I have to leave here. And I hate doing this the way that I'm doing it, but I can't look in your eyes. If I did, I would waver. I really hope you understand. Goodbye, Mom. I will. Always love you.